Hey, how y'all doing today? Hey, getting caught up on paperwork. Just wanted to do a video real quick. You gotta know, gotta know when enough is enough. What I mean by that is, I don't know if the people at these facilities either they don't know how much time is money in this industry or they just don't care. So I'm gonna give you a little backdrop. Yesterday, I was supposed to be picking up from this uh, this uh, car rental place. And they supposed to have the vehicles ready. Supposed to be picking up nine of them. Supposed to be taking it to Pittsburgh. So I get there. Of course, none of the vehicles is ready. They can't find none of the vehicles. So me and the guard were walking around, driving around, trying to find these cars. I I end up being there about maybe like two hours. Probably would have ended up being there even longer if it wasn't for me suggesting to my dispatcher that me taking a different load because you gotta understand with this it's like it already takes time to load the vehicles so you really don't want to be wasting any more time with any other stuff outside of that but it's but it's uh you know finding your vehicles inspecting them you want to kind of like do all that process kind of fast because it's already going to take you a little while to load it you know what i'm saying loading it itself is already time for something so so i'm on the phone with my dispatch i'm telling her like they're having a hard time locating the vehicles we only maybe found maybe like three at the time so i start suggesting maybe she's send somebody else up here the next following day and find another load for me so I ended up leaving there and taking the load out of the, um, outside of the port. It's not in the port, so where I, where I went at, you didn't need a twit card, but it's on, it's around the port or whatever. So I ended up taking the load from there. That's that's heading towards uh, the Chicago area. So it was just, and then if you if you're familiar with the port and the port area. That takes a long time as a process. Also, you gotta find you gotta find your vehicles there and, and all new vehicles. So you know you gotta be extra careful with that. But like I said, just as far as like knowing when the when enough enough is enough because I could have stayed there at the the rental place trying to look for my vehicles and just would have been wasting more and more time. Like yeah, basically with me dealing with that situation and going to the little port area, I waste the whole day. Didn't wait. Didn't make no money. By the time, by the time I was done loading and everything, it was the day was over with. It was around. It was at nighttime, maybe like nine, ten o'clock. Cause I also started having issues with trying to make sure I was at a good height. Cause I have a big load. So, like, and then you can only load the vehicles I have on here. I have some uh, Alfa Romeos. I think they're Italian cars. It's like you only load them on here a certain way. So I had to. And that, and that way that they want you to load don't always work for you, you know? But so yeah, it's just like, you gotta know how to call that audible. If you just sitting there just trying to stick with that one load, you could mess around and lose a lot of money out here, man. Cause it's, like I said, these people at these facilities, they don't really, they either don't care about us being on this e-log or our time, or they just, I know they know, so I don't know what to say, but so yeah. Be in control of your own time, man. You see it's taking too long? Just go ahead and leave, man. Find you another load. You'd be better, better suit. Just know when to cut your losses, basically. So I'll holler at y'all on the next one.